Are you ready to make some noise? Because this young man has travelled from north of the border in Scotland and he knows no limits. Give a massive round of applause for the two-time world strongest man, Tom Number two is the man who taught him everything he knows. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former Scottish and European strongest man, Raven of the High Island It's happening, everybody. We are green for go. Bag is packed. We are going to kick the bus down to Albert Hall where we do battle with some of the strongest men in the world. Super excited. Too spicy! Too spicy, it brother! <laughs> <laughs> Jezza, but Jerome. <laughs> Cheers to you, my brother. But so is it. This is my guy. So is it. This specimen. He's in the royal jungle. He's an animal from the jungle. With a big old booty. <laughs> but does it work? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Have you seen on Daddy's back? Tell Papa when you walk on Christmas. <laughs> Look at that sexy hand behind us. Oh. 152 pounds of American beef, beef. Hey, 52 pounds of American beef. And then the slinky T Rex dinosaur singleton. From Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put him back in his crate, man. It's not ready to eat yet. <laughs> oh, I'm coming to Glasgow. <laughs> it's not very good at all. Kim. Could have been cheeky, Kim. What? Yeah, exactly. That's. I feel like I stepped into a Looney Tune. What? No, no, no. What? No, no, no. You know, like, yeah. I know you. Is that a Kenya? A Kenya. Yeah. That's that is just lazy English. That's a Kenya. That is, that is lazy English. Do you want to talk That sounds like a sexual advancement coming from you. Don't go through. He likes to take his time for it. Everywhere he goes. His name is Joe. He's my bro. Kick Joe's camera? No, I didn't. We're ready to do breakfast. Oh, no. I'm going to throw it away. And I'm going to throw it away. I ordered some donuts and they're out there. Oh, my gosh. Please mind the room. Door closing. Door opening. Going. Only 3,000 people. Over service. Genuinely. Oh, good. That is service. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Welcome to Giants Live. Just that energy was electric, it was, it was wild. And then standing on the stage, seeing Tom come out, that just made me really happy because I could see Tom was like so switched on and ready to go. My name got called out 
that's when I realised I'm back, I'm here and uh, the crowd were unbelievable. The noise they made when my name got called was, yeah, I can't really explain it. The goosebumps were going all over my body. I was pumped up and ready. I definitely didn't cry. It's like hay fever. <laughs> it's, your eyes. Hay fever it's very dusty here, it's old, isn't it? Well, when we're putting our body to that limit, sometimes your eyes water, so that's what happens. And I feel about everyone standing and cheering for you. Yeah. As well as Tom came out, that's what gets me. Yeah. Oh, that gets me the tingles as well. Nice to be back. It's a tough event, the Nickel Stones, you know, it's, it's just brutal. It's just hook grip and just hold on as long as you can. But you know, I was relatively happy. I kind of, I wanted to get another couple of meters, like break the line and then come back a little bit with it. But it was a PB for me in the nickel stone. So again, I'm giving 100% and that's all I can give. And for me, that was a, that was a very good start uh, off the competition. I just wanted to get 20 meters plus because I think I did it in Glasgow a couple of years before and didn't even break the line. So it was nice to start off. I think I came fifth place in that and it was unbelievable. Uh, this one owns a big shout out Teddy Williams because what Eddie Williams did with the Nickel Stones was sensational. I don't think that will ever get beaten for a long, long time. Um, and I don't know how he was able to hold it and look like a drunk guy and keep on going. But yeah, fair play to Eddie, Eddie Williams because it was unbelievable to see. It's looking as the absolute. Oh, bad Gracie. The next event was the Richard Looney made wooden yokes 450 kilos over 20 meters. It felt really nice to go up against Tom, you know, both Tom and myself were out there. I think it g'd up the crowd. I think people like to see the brothers go at it. And in lane number two is the man in Feeding off that energy from each other. You know, Tom smashed a really good time. I was really happy with my yoke. It was it was really quick for me, it was really good. Um, just had a little slip and slipped off my back. It is what it is, it's one of those things. It was like shrugging up from about 10 meters to try and hold the yoke in my, my back. But you know, 450 kilos is a heavy yoke, but it felt really good for me. My goal was to come top three. I thought it would be I thought it would be Mitchell, Evan, and me. I thought it would be closer between Mitchell and Evan, but to actually be able to keep up with Evan, because obviously Evan's a very, very good uh, yoke, yoker as well. So to do that, and you know, I was very, very proud of myself. Third place by 200th of a second, and it was a great, great battle. And uh, yeah, I was very, very pleased with my performance going into that one. But you take my hat off to, to Big Mitchell Hooper smashing, I think a sub 10 second uh, yoke time, which was incredible. I think Mitchell's like me with the stones, he'll never get beaten at yoke unless he fumbles it or something bad happens to him. But yeah, and a sub 10 second yoke is, is incredible. So big shout out to him. What is it like competing at the top level with your brother? Yeah, I mean, it's great, especially in an arena like that. You know, they're all over at Hall of, and that's the first time all over at Hall seen myself and Luke go head to head in an event. And the noise for both of us was unbelievable. And um, yeah, like I said, really, really nice to you know, have that kind of moment before, have the moment after. But then when we're kind of on the line, ready to go with it for the whistle, it's it's me versus Luke and nothing else matter. But afterwards, you could see we were just, yeah, happy to <laughs> have the yoke finish, happy to be able to celebrate with each other and just, happy to be there and it's really good to be there with Luke like I said and I've competed a few times I've competed in a few head to head head to heads with Luke but that could be probably one of the best ones that and Europe's strongest man back when I did the Atlas Stones against him are two probably the ones that were, I remember for a while this is the fifth event mate Colin is calling you on stage so time is of the essence. So yeah, the axle deadlift, 360 kilos. Um, I got three reps, I just missed the fourth rep. 
I said to myself, you know, three reps would be good. Four reps would be, you know, even better, obviously, if, if I could pull off in the day. It's just something I need to keep working on. It is coming, you know. I, I have been putting the work in, and I think it showed. Because before, I'd maybe get one rep, maybe two reps. So for me to hit three reps, almost four, was a really good performance for myself. You know, all the other guys, whatever, they're doing six, seven reps, and, and that's awesome for them. But for me, you know, I just need to keep chipping away, try and get an extra rep here and there. And from my point of view, it was a, a really solid performance performance for me in the deadlift. Came second there I think it was and I was very very happy to actually get six reps on the deadlift and to beat like you know the Trey Mitchell, Evan Singleton, that was really really good and I just have to start maybe pacing myself a bit more because I did six quite quickly and then kind of just ran out of gas but I was really really happy with six. I think that's my best ever performance on a 360 kilogram deadlift uh, with six reps so two reps away from a world record whereas Two months ago I wasn't even able to lift that at all, so yeah, I was very, very happy and very, very happy as well to be able to finish that in second place. <laughs> I was feeling okay, I was starting to get a little bit of cramps, but I mean everyone was in the same boat, you know, we were all sweating a lot, we were all probably getting quite dehydrated, so we were trying to manage that as, as best we can, so, you know, for me in the Viking press, it wasn't a bad performance by any means, but I expected maybe an extra couple of reps, which would have been nice. Unfortunately, it just wasn't there in the day. You know, you go back to the last time the Viking press, 12 reps would have got really good points, you know, probably top two or top three so um, it just shows the level of the, the athletes competing here when you've got guys getting 18, like Big Trey getting 18 reps, Tom and Evan 17 reps so it just shows you the calibre of the, the athletes now that we're, we're coming in and, and pumping out a load of reps. But My first ever time in a competition I've done a Viking press so I really think my pressing is up there with one of the best in the world now. Um, I've really been hitting pressing hard, hard, hard sorry, in training. You know, I got to 16 reps thinking well, this was easy, then I got to the 17th one, and then after the 17th, I just ran out of gas. But to, you know, basically beat the old world record, to get one rep away from a world record, and to come joint second in that event was unbelievable, because there's some really good pressures in that. Now I know that piece of kit that when I hit that again, I'm going to hit 18 reps plus, because, yeah, I felt very confident. And then again, I was up against Mitchell Hooper that event, and, you know, when you're up against you know, the best guy in the world. You can use him as a pacemaker. And I, we were going neck and neck till he got to 12 or 13, and then I knew, right, this is my time. I just go balls to the wall and just rep until I can't do anymore. And thankfully, it got me joint second in that place, and then I was really in a really, really good position going into the last event. We got the stones. The stones was probably my biggest disappointment in the day. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to load them all. I thought I was good enough to load them all, but unfortunately. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way um, and you're not strong enough or you're not good enough on the day and even Big Tom can kind of have a have a malfun malfunction uh, in the stones but not this year, he just smashed it, ripped through them one motion and really cemented his name as, as the best stone lifter that's ever lived and um, it was a, again a, a true privilege to watch that and see how amazing Tom is it basically every event which is amazing. I said it straight backstage, right, put the tacky on me and let's just go absolute mental. <laughs> one eighty, one motion. I got to the two hundred, I was like, right, stuff this, this is just getting one motion. <laughs> One motion a stone run after doing all those events is something I'm very proud of and setting that is going to live with me for a while and I think everybody wearing that was in that moment at the time and yeah it was a special 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 moment. I just wanted to end the, end the show on a high and that's what I did so I didn't make no mistakes I was consistent throughout and it was a Tom Stone that everybody wants to see and everybody knows that what I'm capable of pulling off when I turn up to a show. Any final words? I can see it's such a a stark lineup. The spectacle that, that Giants Live is now, you know, it's a it's a statement show. The Albert Hall is, is such a huge statement and such a it's a huge, huge honour for us to be part of. Um, and I love it, man. It's it's such a such a buzz. You know, I've got that buzz back. A huge thank you to everyone sticking around to to do the meet and greet at the end. I know it was a hot day at the Albert Hall, but for all you guys that want to get photos with Tom and I, that waited around till the bitter end. I know it was kind of touch and go for and get photos taken with everyone, but 
for everyone that waited around, it really meant a lot. And for everyone that comes up, talks to us about, you know, what it means to have like Tom as a, a spokesperson for autism um, and how much it's changed people's lives. For all the people that kind of talk about mental health and have that conversation with me, it really does mean a lot. And it, it really is, it's, it's the reason you know, why we are so open and so vocal about it, about autism, about mental health, because we see the, the power that, you know, that Tom gives to people. You know, Tom is that super, superman for people. It empowers people and, you know, that's, I, I hope that that's what we, we are, or that Tom is certainly to people with autism and I'd like to hopefully kind of do my bit for mental health and, and especially men's mental health and um, all the people that are suffering around the world. Hopefully we can impact on on one person's life and then we're doing, doing our bit. So um, just a huge thank you for all the support, all the, the kind words that you shared with us um, during the show and, and after the show as well. So um, thank you so much and really looking forward to the next show. And I always say I want to be the greatest of all time and now I want to prove why I want to be the greatest of all time. And I really, really want to shock everyone at Shock Classic, but I especially want to shock everyone in Glasgow at the Law Press because I'm going to do something with the law press that nobody's going to expect and it's going to be nice to see it when I have that smile on my face and I win the whole show as well. So Tom and I haven't competed in Giants Live for since last year at Europe Strongest Man, I think my last show was. So seeing all the guys there, seeing the crew, all the other guys competing, it just felt like it was like a homecoming almost, you know, it felt like it was coming back home. and. It was so nice to see everyone again and they were so nice and positive and it was just really good energy and that energy carried on. Yeah, huge shout out to the guys on the podium. Mr. Champion, Big Evan the Dinosaur, Singleton, T-Rex, he smashed it mate, so, so happy for you. He was in really top shape and, and a deserved winner of, of the, the Strongman Classic. Baby bro Tom always impresses me super proud i can't say anything more because I'm, I'm beaming for him because he, he absolutely smashed it the challenge was set for him to come back to a giants live show and you know finishing half a point behind evan was a super super good performance and big mitchell hooper again podium i don't think it'd be right not seen mitchell on a podium because um, he's made so many so um super impressive smashed the yoke absolutely insane massive deadlift again just an unfortunate kind of mishap in the stones um, and it changes things around a bit but we all we've all been there and looking forward to the next battle with all the guys and yeah just a shout out to all the rest of the the, the guys for competing and we all put in a, a really good show and hopefully it kind of comes across on the tv like that you know because we all gave 100 percent and it was a, a privilege to compete with all the guys <laughs>